up guys, my name is Devin and welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. Today, we're gonna invite some people from CM to help us break down the benefits and features of the Hurricane 360 hand chain hoist. Joining us from CM is Rob, Bruno, and Will Gerber. And then joining us from Mozilla Companies is Mike Close. So gentlemen, uh, thank you all for joining me today on this episode of the Lifting and Rigging channel. Yeah, thanks for having us, Devin. All right, so Will, if you could kind of start, just uh, give us some background about where do you come from, where's kind of your training, and how'd you kind of fall into this uh, field? So I started in industrial sales, um, Boy, it's probably been 17 years ago now. Uh, I spent about a decade doing that, and then I made the jump over to Columbus McKinnon um, a little bit more than six years ago now. Um, so I've been working with CM, and I'm a territory manager, and I recently took over, you know, within the last two years, took over national sales responsibility for Mozilla companies. And then what about you, Rob? Uh, what's your background? I know you're, you know, you do a lot of training videos and stuff like that. So kind of what's your background and uh, your history working in this industry? Yeah, so I'm an industry products trainer for Columbus McKinnon. So my primary role is to uh, not only do in-house trainings on chain hoist uh, inspection, maintenance and repair, overhead crane inspection, maintenance and repair, as well as rigging. And I also uh, do entertainment hoist and entertainment rigging. Um, but I also travel all over North America and do these trainings on site, as well as other Columbus McKinnon locations. Um, I started out in this industry 17 years ago in the United States Coast Guard. Uh, on a seagoing buoy tender where I got my rigging and crane quals and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, traveled through Mobile, Alabama to California um, through rigging houses and rigging shops, uh, fabricating slings, running test beds, sales, and then uh, joined Columbus McKinnon in 2017. Awesome. Well, first and foremost, I mean, thank you for your service. I really appreciate oh, that. Thank you. And it's, uh, I love uh, practical application education. That's my favorite because to me, when you're actually putting your hands on something and you're putting your time in, that's where all of your education, your mistakes, your failure successes, I mean, you remember that stuff forever. So I love that. That is your background for training. Let's just jump right into it and start talking about the Hurricane hand chain hoist systems. Starting with like the design material and configuration, like what goes into these systems, how are they created, you know, and how are they used? Let's start there. The Hurricane 360 is a unique one of a kind chain hoist. Um, it's very innovative to the industry um, due to the fact that the hand wheel rotates 360 degrees. What that allows you to do is operate the hoist from any position or angle, even above the load. So what this enables you to do is get the operator away from a safe distance away from the load and still have full efficiency and functionality of the hoist. It's built per ASME B30.16 and it has a four to one design factor. Its gears and pinions are heat treated high strength steel, which gives it longevity and resistance to wear. Zinc plated chain, uh, powder coated finish for corrosion protection. And it also has standard overload protection as another safety feature. It also has a four pocket lift wheel and chain guide, which help for alignment, which give you a better chain fit and also extend the wear and life of your chain. Um, and it comes with a double paw standard. So all together, the hoist is engineered and designed to be a one of a kind, unique, innovative, industry leading chain hoist. And so for, for applications, for like practical applications, cause I, I think in terms of, you know, always the rigor on the floor, the person who's going to have to carry this thing around and schlepping it to wherever the workstation is, what are some of the best use cases for the people that are using these in the field, like where it's working its best? The Hurricane really is, is, is one of the safest, most efficient hand chain hoists on the market. Um, but specifically, we see these hand chain hoists being used in mechanical contractors. So mechanical contractors inherently are always working in tight spaces. They're working around pipe. They're always working at various angles. They're never making that perfect lift where you're standing right next to the load. You don't have obstacles in the way. So the Hurricane is the preferred hoist really with mechanical contractors across the country. Because of that rotating hand chain wheel, it allows them to move around those obstructions and be able to operate the hand chain hoist from really any angle. You know, another application we see this hoist in is general construction. So we've got several construction companies in the U.S. that prefer the Hurricane because of the added safety features that are only available on this hoist. Um, the Hurricane allows the operator to stand away from the load at a safe distance when making a lift. So in order to operate a hand chain hoist, um, other hand chain hoist, I should say, the operator has to stand directly next to the hoist or when they get out at any kind of an angle, that hand chain will get bound up in the wheel 
and they're not able to operate the hoist. It makes the hoist inoperable. So we never want to see an accident happen. Obviously, we do everything we possibly can to prevent them, but they do happen. And in this case, the hurricane allows the operator to stand away from the load in the event of a failure with the rigging or the hoist or anything, any other part of the lift. And it's become a, a favorite with maintenance technicians due to the hoist ability to be used inverted. So using the hoist upside down allows the operator to attach the lower hook up to the beam clamp or the connection point, reducing the risk of injury while trying to mount the body of the hoist on an elevated structure. So this is really important, especially when you're talking about um, the higher capacity hoist. So five, 10, 20 ton hoist, the body of the hoist gets really, really heavy. In this case, you would attach the body of the hoist down to the lower connection point and just take that little five pound hook up the ladder, up the structure and hook it up to your beam clamp. Does that do anything to affect like capacity or capability or anything at all just by inverting it? No, no, you can use it just the same as you would a, a regular hand chain hoist. You're just essentially using it upside down. What's the capacity range for these? Sure, so it comes uh, in standard capacities, half ton to 20 ton, and it can come with a hook mount suspension, or we also have a low headroom integrated trolley version, uh, which again is very unique to the industry. It's a integrated trolley, reduces headroom tremendously. And the trolley is also phenomenal because standard trolleys use spacers and washers to get your flange width correct. This has threaded spindles that run all the way through the trolley. So that basically you can quickly and easily adjust this trolley to any flange width without having to deal with spacers or washers. Can we switch a little bit and talk about applications where these types of hoists just don't really work great? Where, you know, maybe higher capacity lifts or maybe the distance, because we were talking about how far you can get a subject away from the hoist to, to run it. Um, is there a point where the, the height is just too much or you can't get far enough away? You know, situations like that where these just maybe not, might not be the right fit for the application. I mean, definitely when you're looking at, obviously spark resistant, you know, we, we've got to be mindful of that. So when you're working around classified, in classified areas, that's when we're either going to look at the Atex hoist or maybe another solution. Um, so the standard hurricane hoist, you know, the non-Atex version, we're going to want to stay away from in the spark resistant applications. Ultra corrosive applications, same thing. Standard hurricane hoist is more meant for general use. When you get into those real severe duty applications, we're going to want to look at the Atex or in some cases another uh, hoist. Um, high heat applications. You know, when you get into ultra high heat where the, the, the hoist itself or the hook or the load chain is going to be exposed to high heat, um, we need to be mindful of that. Um, obviously, anything over 20 ton, um, that's where we max out with the hurricane. So we're going to look at a different solution over 20 ton. And then we always, um, you know, tell operators we're never lifting people. We're never suspending loads over people. So you're going to want to stay away from the hurricane for any of those type of applications as well. The hurricane's uh, generally meant for your, your your standard lifting applications, you know, your, your not high heat applications, your less corrosive applications. Um, outdoor is okay, but you know, away from the saltwater type environments that ten, tend to generally damage or, or start to affect uh, standard hoist. So that's really where the ELA Tex 360 comes into play is for those corrosive environments, for those harsher environments, the spark resistant type environments. Devin and I sat in on a training that one of the Mazella lifting specialists did, and you actually came in that day and you brought the hurricane with you and did a product demo for this group that worked in a salt mine. Why do you think they got so excited about the product when you came in and demonstrated it? I just remember how clearly excited this group of guys was when you showed them the capabilities of the hurricane. I think that particular group, um, you know, they in the mines that can be a harsher environment um, the aluminum body on this hoist does hold up really well in some of those harsher environments. Um, the other thing was those guys frequently find themselves working in tight spaces and they love the idea of being able to get this hoist in there and be able to use it at all kinds of different angles because it, it, if you remember, it was right when I talked about, you know, have you ever had to stand off to the side and try to operate the hoist? 
you know, it kind of demonstrated that that hand chain getting bound up on some of the other hoists. That's when their eyes really lit up. I mean, that's that's the star of the show here for this hoist. And really, anybody that's using a hand chain hoist at some point has run into that problem. Um, so not only is it a, it's clearly a safety feature to get the operator away from the load, but the other thing is a lot of times you're just working in and around stuff where you need to be able to stand off to the side, stand at 90 degrees. Like Rob said, in some cases, we've got operators who have to pull pumps or motors out of a pit and they'll actually stand elevated up above the hoist where the hoist is down below them to pull that pump or motor up out of a pit. And it just makes their jobs and their lives so much easier. And like for me, that was like the most fascinating part about watching you demo that product for those guys because the second you started moving it around 360 degrees, they were all just turning to look at each other and then just talk about that one time they tried to do something similar and it just wasn't working. It was just a fascinating experience about like the, the practicality of when this works and why it works. So that was pretty cool. As far as, you know, getting gunk in it or dirt, how, how resistant is it and how durable is it on the job site, you know, practically for the for the rigor in the field? One of the unique features about it is it's completely enclosed. Basically where the hand chain comes out has two openings and where the load chain comes out has two openings. Otherwise, it's realistically a sealed body. So this helps keep a lot of dirt and debris and things like that out. Of course, with the powder coated finish, it helps protect against corrosion. Of course, you can't submerge it 100% in water and expect it to function uh, correctly due to the Weston style brake, but it can hold up very well to the outdoor um, environments or very heavy, dusty, dirty environments due to that enclosed body and the way it functions. Um, as we've all kind of talked about already is that rotating hand wheel really allows the hoist to function no matter what, no matter what position, no matter what angle, you can even operate this hoist above the load. So have the hoist beneath you with the load beneath you and actually function the hoist from above it, which no other hoist in the industry can do that. Switching gears a little bit, can we talk about like uh, some of the safety features and benefits? Specifically, I wanna talk about repairability in the beginning. So like all uh, CM chain hoists, we offer a full uh, line of replacement parts for the Hurricane 360. This is actually, probably one of the easiest uh, chain hoists to work on. Um, the gear side cover simply removes by four bolts and you have access to your gears. The um, opposite side brake cover uh, easily removes with the load limiter right there. And of course the standard Weston style brake. I also want to talk about the double paw feature. So this hoist comes standard with two paws, which adds an additional level of safety. On a, a lot of traditional chain hoists, when you have a single paw, if for some reason that paw was to fail, the load can drop, okay? It's gonna release your brake, it's gonna drop. With the two paw system, if one paw fails, the other paw will engage the load and maintain that load until you can get it down uh, safely and get all the people away from it. So that's a tremendous feature of this hoist. Back into the repairability of things, realistically, brake this chain and hooks is really what you're going to have to repair on this hoist. Um, and, and what's nice about all of those things is the chain is readily available, the brake discs are readily available, and the hooks are bolted on. So they're actually completely bolted on. So you don't have to worry about rivets or anything like that. So it's really easy for inspection as well as replacement. Um, so these, these hoists are very, very simple to maintain as well as repair. And so additionally, if you do have one of these CM hoists that you need inspection on, or you need to get some service or repair on, Mazella can actually offer that. We have a hoist repair service center, and then we also have one of the largest inventories of hoist repair parts for CM and some other hoists. So if you do need us, you're more than welcome to contact a lifting specialist. They'd be happy to help you however they can with your repair and inspection. Another feature that we talked about earlier that I wanted to reference again was the like the overload indicator because to to me for a lot of people that you know I, I picture something like this on on a site where guys are working on cars or trying to move those engine blocks out of their way and I think some of those people might not be as up to date on like load control and like weights and capacities and stuff like that so what does this overload indicator tell these guys and in what way does it tell them that and how do they know to to back off or to to leave it alone? It is a version of an indicator but it's more of overload protection. It's the only way we can 
really protect the hoist, which in turn we protect the operator. So um, traditionally it's set at about 135% of rated load. So as this hoist is being operated, if I exceed 135% thereof of rated load, the hand chain will actually just slip. The load won't slip. Okay, the load's gonna maintain right where it is, but you're gonna continue to pull on that hand chain and the load's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna raise up anymore. And that's your indication that, hey, I'm overloading this hoist. I need to get the load back to the ground and reassess the situation. Now, once that happens, if you adjust the load to the capacity that it's able to handle, can you still use it after that point? Or once you overload it, do you have to send it out for repair? Nope. So once you overload the hoist, we want the hoist 100% inspected. So we want you to go through the hoist, make sure no damage was done to the hoist. We know it was overloaded. Once the qualified person on site deems that hoist to be safe for continuous use, go ahead and put it right back in the service and continue on with what you're doing. Seems like there's a lot of options available to consumers. There's import products, there's domestic products, uh, a lot of manufacturers out there that provide these products. What would you say it is about CM's uh, hand chain hoist that separate you guys from the others on the market? Well, you're certainly right about that. There's a lot of options out there. I mean, really when you're talking about the Hurricane hand chain hoist, the key differentiator for us is obviously the rotating hand chain cover. Um, but on top of that, we've also got one of the lowest pull forces in the industry on this hoist. Um, it's one of the lightest weight hoists available in the market. So when you're talking about operators that have to lug this thing around all day, every day, weight matters. Uh, and a difference of three or four pounds is a big deal to these guys. The, the Hurricane unit is single reefed up to three ton, which again reduces weight on the hoist. Um, we've got the, the bolted bottom block, which is easy removal and or repair and inspection, the double pawl that we talked about, and of course the lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. So we're going we're gonna to stand behind this product, um, you know, assuming it hasn't been completely misused. Um, you know, we, we've got a lot of confidence that this product's going to hold up to any application, um, even the most, the toughest applications that you want to put this thing in. When would you choose to use the hand chain versus like a lever hoist? I know a CM offers a 360 version of both products. So what applications or what situations might dictate uh, the hand chain versus the lever? Really when it comes to selecting the proper hoist, it's gonna depend on the application. Um, the load being lifted or are, or are you in a tensioning or pulling type application, as well as um, how heavy the load is, where do you want your operator, can you function the hoist in the space you have to function that hoist in? So there's a lot of variables that go into this. Um, generally, when it's a tensioning or pulling type application, in other words, on the horizontal plane, we're gonna tend to go with a lever tool or a lever hoist. Uh, big misconception, lever hoist can be used for pulling tensioning. They can also be used vertically for lifting, okay? When we get into more of a lifting application, we're gonna tend to generally go with a uh, hand chain hoist. Now some differences that might let us use one over the other, vice versa, right? So I'm in a lifting application, but I'm in real tight confined space and I only got to lift something a very short distance and maybe I can't stand up to fully function a manual chain hoist. Maybe then I'll use a lever hoist, you know? The Hurricane 360 is another great one because of that rotating 360 degree hand wheel, maybe I have a real long pulling application where a chain hoist is going to fit better, you know? So they can be interchanged, but generally when we're pulling or tensioning, we're going to go with a, a chain uh, lever hoist. And when we're lifting, we're going to go with a manual chain hoist. For the people that are considering buying one of these things or they already have one, they're trying to learn a little bit more about it, like maybe even like troubleshooting or how to figure it out, how to set it up for the first time, where can they go to learn more about the CM hoists uh, just for more understanding? Yeah, so I would encourage everybody to go visit our very recently launched new global website, www.columbusmckinnon.com. Um, we've got a ton of great resources on there. Um, really, you can find um, information on everything that we manufacture. So we've got rigging products, hoisting products, overhead crane products. 
Um, you can also find safe, safe rigging and hoisting videos, product information, application solution information. If you've got a specific application and you're wondering what hoist might be a good fit for it, or what our offering is for say a class one, div one hoist, go in there to that application and you'll see what we offer for that. Um, we've also got dimensional drawings on there, product manuals, and then you can also find authorized repair centers. Will, Rob, Mike, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, guys at home, if you were thinking about using these hoists, go to Seam's website, learn more about that. You're obviously welcome to reach out to us. If you have any questions, we'll answer those however we can. And uh, as always, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time on the Lifting and Rigging channel.